Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you my code to calculate emissivity from thermal imaging uh, using MATLAB. Okay, so basically what you do uh, when you try to do anything with uh, thermal imaging, you must have an uh, infrared camera, right? IR camera, which is like flare or uh, any other type of, of, of uh, thermal imaging uh, device. Um, FLIR is, uh, of course, is the most popular, but there is other types of thermal imaging uh, devices, which is actually uh, very good, okay? So basically, anyway, when you do this, you have with your device a software which you use to extract data or basically to read the, the files that you have recorded using the camera okay taking images or maybe a thermal uh, video like a group of, 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 of uh, you know frames after each other anyway you have a file at the end which you can read using um, the, the software which you get with your uh, thermal uh, device thermal imaging device and you can extract uh, data out of it okay the best way to extract, I have uh, used a lot of them, and I have seen a lot of this uh, softwares, okay, where you uh, extract the data using the software from the uh, image or the videos that you have taken using the camera. So anyway, in all the cases, in all the, the softwares, either it is flare, it is not flare, or whatever, you can always export data as CSV, okay? So you always have the option to extract the data as CSV. Also, okay, uh, you can extract the temperature along with the radiance, or sometimes some devices call the radiance uh, raw data. Now, either, uh, whether you're new or you're not new to the idea of thermal imaging, you would probably understand what I'm talking about. Well. Okay, so the radiance is basically how much radiation, okay, of um, infrared radiation get out from each pixel in your image, okay, or from each point of your body you're taking a photo for, uh, for, uh, for okay. So this uh, is what we call the radiance, and because it is a direct uh, radiation that comes from the body, uh, it is sometimes called the raw data, okay? So either it's called radiance or called raw data. That is what we need, uh, okay, as a first output. Now, now uh, inside your device, you will have some kind of a calibration where you would connect it between the radiance and the temperature. So you also, of course, know how to export the temperature, okay? Now, the problem with thermal imaging is emissivity. Now, given that you have reached to this video, I am sure you understand what is the concept of emissivity. Well, anyway, emissivity tells you how much of what you see as radiance from your body is actually reflected and not radiated. So, without emissivity correction, without emissivity calculation, you get wrong uh, estimation of temperature, actually overestimation of temperature, because you take with your uh, with the radiated amount of energy you take also the reflected i'm sure you already know uh, the concept of emissivity anyway if you don't you can find a lot of uh, references and a lot of top uh, you know uh, videos on youtube and stuff like that to explain emissivity okay so why we care about calculating emissivity well we care about it because uh, either you care about the emissivity because it is a material property it's very important. It is like when you do research or you work or with this stuff, sometimes you want to know the emissivity of a material, okay? So this is a method of how to use thermal imaging to calculate emissivity, okay? Also, another thing is to use it to correct your data. Once you know the emissivity, you can correct the, uh, the reading of the temperature so you get a more accurate uh, reading or estimation of the temperature using thermal imaging, which is very important. Okay, and uh, and sometimes you know uh, detecting or tracking the temperature of something uh, on the site without contact of the object itself, thermal imaging is always uh, very good. 
So let's say that you work with a certain circuit or a certain body and you wanted to know exactly its emissivity. So whenever you track or use the image uh, thermal imaging again on the same body, you know its emissivity, so you know exactly the temperature. That's very important, okay? Okay, so here is a code I made on MATLAB, which um, uses, uses some mathematics and some, you know, uh, thermal imaging laws and radiation laws that you will find here in algorithm. So you will find the link for the code uh, with all this example. This is an example, okay, I'm going to use now in front of you. You will find it also in the link in the description. Also, you will find the algorithm, which has the equations, the method, and the idea, the concept behind this code, okay, and how it works and how it calculates uh, emissivity. So you'll find all this in the description, in the link. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for my channel, okay? So let's get right to this. So let's get to the code. Now, when you start the code, you have two codes here. One, which is the function. This is the main function, which implements the algorithm. And you have, okay, which is emissivity calculation. And you have this main. This is the one to run. This is the main script. This is the script to run, okay, to get results. Okay, so what is the input to our code? Now, the input is both the temperature and the radiance, or what we call the raw data, at two different temperatures. This is very important. So, you're going to take two images, two thermal images to the same object, but at two different temperatures. Of course, the first temperature must be lower than the second. This is very important to get the most accurate uh, calculation of emissivity. So, get your object. Use your thermal imaging to take a, a photograph or a thermal image for the object, okay, at a low temperature. Then heat it up using, I don't know, water bath or whatever. Just heat it up and then take another uh, picture. That's all. Then you have two files, one at the first temperature. Use whatever software of your thermal uh, imaging device. Use it to extract temperature and radiance, okay, as CSV, of course. So the CSV will be a matrix, basically, which is the values of the calculated temperature or radiance. So it will be a big matrix like this, showing at each pixel what is the value of the temperature. Here, is, this is the temperature. So for the radiance, okay, here you can see it's, of course, a bigger in value because this is the direct row data or uh, radiance, okay, at each pixel in this image. So that's... Oh, Again, don't forget to uh, extract it at CSV, which is, I am sure, found in any kind of thermal imaging, okay? So, you have an object, you have it at a low temperature, take an image, use the software to get the first uh, the first temperature and the first radiance at this, temp at this temperature. And then, uh, heat it up some way, take another photograph. This is a very scientific experiment, I know, but the people who are um, uh, watching this video, I'm sure you have uh some experience and stuff because you must be some kind of researcher or you're doing a project on this if not if you just want an example i'm going to give you this file anyway in the description okay so again at the second temperature take another uh, uh thermal image and then extract using software whatever software you use extract the temperature and the radiance okay so what you have is four files t1 t2 r1 r2 t1 is a Temperature at the uh, at the first temperature, okay. Um, R1 is the radiance of the raw data at the first temperature, and of course T2 is the temperature at the second case, and R2 is the radiance at the second case after you heat up the 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 object. Okay, so we say that the first temperature is the low temperature, okay, and we say that the second temperature is the high temperature. Okay, once you do this, that's it. You can, I will show you now how to run the code and you will upload the CSV data and you will calculate emissivity very accurately at each pixel, okay, at each point. So let's run the code. It will, it will ask for, okay, give me the first file. The first file, here is the, here is the order. So I'm writing here the order. You go T, T1, R1, T2, R2. So let's go T1 and then again, okay, so you go R1 and then T2, okay, second temperature and then R2. Okay, and that's it. Here you go. Okay, so let's let's analyze what's going on. Here is the object I have taken the image for. So you can see the first temperature and the second temperature. And here you can see that the same point at the same point, 
okay you can see a higher temperature here okay not much higher of course as if it if it gets much higher that's better actually the more difference between the two two um, temperature it's better okay and you will understand more if you read the algorithm and and how how the mathematics behind this work okay so you can see the first temperature and the second temperature and here you can see the first radiance and the second radiance now here is a calculated emissivity and here you can see it goes from zero to one which makes a lot of sense of course if you understand what's emissivity you know it goes from zero to one and here you can see i'm having an emissivity or about 0.7 something like that uh, uh, okay in my image now i guess that's it for this video again don't forget to like share and subscribe and you will find the code in, in the description thank you for watching